morning everyone. Uh, this is my morning routine when I wake up and I have time for myself. I wake up and I normally put my hair back in a band and I take a little bit of the Tasha rice powder, just a little bit in my hand like that, put a little bit of water on it and put it all over my face. I leave it on and I exfoliate because you want to get rid of all this dead skin. That's one way of doing it. And another way that I like doing it is using my La Mer cream. And I use a Clarisonic device. I put a little drop of the cream on there and I go around in circles and it takes off all the dead skin all over my face like so. I'm doing it quickly so my head to get messy. And um, then I take a little bit of La Mer eye cream and I just dab it on the bottom of my like so. Let it soak in of um, this tonic water from La Mer as well. Just like that, a little bit in your hand. Can't see it. And just all over the face. And let it soak in. And your neck. Your neck is very important because you don't want it to age. Then I go in, because it's winter time here in Toronto, Canada, I take my Clem de La Mer and I put a little bit on my hand and you, you, they ask you to warm it up like that. Apply it all over the face. I like trying out samples and you get these at Sephora when you buy stuff, you get to pick free ones. So I did this uh, Smashbox uh, photo finish primer. So I'm gonna try it out because it's supposed to make your face nice and glowy and dewy. My favorite concealer is Shape Tape by Tarte. It's fantastic for covering, covering lines and you'll see after I've done mine. I take a little beauty blender and I just blend it all in. So it kind of smooths out my eye dark circles because as you age, you get them. And I kind of highlight my nose because I want it to look nice and slim. So I'm just doing it in the T-zone here and here. It kind of just smooths out. A little bit on there and a little bit here. I have a lot of foundations, but my all-time favorite is the Giorgio Armani. I will link everything in the description box below. And for my skin type, it's 5.5. So I put on the back of my hand and I dip it with my beauty blender and then I go all in because I want a very natural, quick look because I've got two teenage boys and I've got to run them out and do errands. So I want to be out the house quick. So this is how I do it. I even it out all over going down into my neck area. I pull it down. So I want it to blend right in there. There's no differentiation between the two. I put a little bit on my lips as well. A little bit on the eyelids too, just very quick. I'm gonna use one palette for my makeup and I'm gonna put that in my crease along with that, those two, and I'm gonna highlight with that. This is gonna go on my cheeks and on the high points of my cheeks. This is gonna be a quick, easy one. I'm using my Tom Ford brown pencil to line the top of my eye. Like that. And I'll do the other eye. Another trick I've learned, you hold your eyelid up and you go underneath here. And you line the underneath of the lashes so it makes your eyelashes look thicker. I'm going to use an angled brush. I love Scott Vaughan's brushes. I think they're the best. A lot of my makeup I have learned from him and Lisa Aldridge. Uh, they are fantastic makeup artists. Scott is a true artist. Like he's the Picasso of makeup in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just, just lightly running my angled brush, Scott Vaughan's brush. I will link all his brushes underneath too. Like it's, if you can afford it, I would say buy them all. Or as I did, I bought a few at a time and added to them because I have a lot of brushes. This one is his angled one, which is so amazing. It fits so beautifully in your eye and you can smooth it out really well. The, the um, bronzer powder that I'm using from Hourglass. This is another one of Scott's brushes. It's like almost like a fan, but it fits so beautifully in here. And I go in with a lighter color, which is this one. 
and dip it in and then I just go back and forth like that to highlight the eye a little more and give it more definition so when you open it it's just very natural when people look at you of course I mean they can see that I have eyeliner on but I'm going to smoke it out to make it look very natural I then take my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, highlighter pencil and I just go in the corner of the eye because you want the light to get right in there so it makes your eyes look bigger and then you can also do it under your eyebrow I like to do it now before I do my eyebrow and I just kind of blend it out like that just to give it a little highlight I take my Tom Ford um, eyebrow brush I like it because it's fat the top is fat and when you draw the line it's very easy and I'm going to try and make my eyebrow more pointed and then down and then this little bit more rounded. I will do it off camera and you can see it all. Let me try if I can do it. Can't look at both. I have drawn my eyebrow in and then because it's so fat you could do a line parallel and fill in the same time. Can you see the difference between this one and that one? It looks so much better on my face shape. I've kind of got the shape that I want. Now I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and I use the spoolie and I kind of brush up my hair. And then I use the skinnier point of it and I just go in and fill in all the little loose bits. You can also use powder, which I do sometimes, but when I'm in a rush, I just do this. And it just looks so natural and pretty. At least I think so. done. I have two different contour brushes, one from Charlotte Tilsbury that I use strictly for the dark contour and I use this from It Cosmetics, the double brush, for my highlighting. So I use these both to contour my face. Now I want to make my face look slimmer here so I'm going to kind of do two lines in here to make this part slimmer and then go around the hairline so that it all kind of blends in and never forget to do this area. I'm a, lo a little older, so I'm kind of self-conscious about my chin. So back again, I'm going into the contour palette, like so. And I'm gonna contour, suck your cheeks in and find your point where you wanna contour. You can see how simple and easy it is. You can see already like it's giving my face definition. I'm gonna do the others. And now you go under here. And you blend, you have to blend. And I try to blend it down into my neck. So it kind of gives my face a chiseled look. Same here. I turn to the little bit of the little uh, tip of the brush and I go into the same bronzing powder and I'm going to sculpt my nose now to make it look narrow and long. It's funny how uh, you can literally draw your face to look different and you'll see the finished product when I'm done. I do the tip of my nose here, so you kind of want it to look pointy. This is a Scott Barnes tip. He kind of just takes his little highlighter brush and he dabs it in on the top, and then he highlights the top of your cheek right there, like that. So now I dip it in the two light colors. I do the tip of my nose like so. Very little through there and a little bit up here just so the light hits it there and I just kind of brush it up. And I've done my cheeks already and now I take a little bit so I want my lips to look a little more defined and I'm going to put that there and just a tiny bit under. Then I am going to take my Scott Bond's angled brush again. I'm going to wipe off the ex um, excessive eyeshadow that I put on my eyes. And I'm going to go back in the dark brown, I mean in the tan colored. And I'm going to go under my lip here to define my lip. And give the illusion that my lips look bigger. You can do it up here too.
And you can also do it here if you want to make it more defined and chiseled. Just take it straight. Now I take my Tom Ford um, rouge or blush brush and I dip it in these two colors here because it's kind of rosy. I want it to look kind of rosy. I kind of smile and you go on the apples of your cheek right there, just like that. And you do the same here. I take my large Zoviva brush that Lisa Allridge recommended and I bought the whole set. I absolutely love it and it's all in rose gold. I dip this in my um, bronzer and I go all over my face to kind of blend it out and make it look good. Then you take the Charlotte Tilsbury lip pencil. It's called Nude Kate. I absolutely love it. I'm going to line my lips and then put a quick lipstick on and I'm all ready to go. You kind of cheat. And that brown, the bronze uh, line that you put there makes your lips kind of open up more. And I kind of just do that. And line your lips. I'm going to grab my Socate Charlotte Tilsbury lipstick. And you can grab any lip gloss to put on the bottom of there. I'm going to grab one of my Chanel ones, just any light one. You can use a, a white looking one or you can do like a pink, anything. And just put a little dab under here. So it gives you a nice little pout because the light hits there. One other thing that I forgot, I uh, use my eyelash curler. Again, I will link all the names down there. This is Sushido think yes and then you just kind of curl them and then you do the other one be careful you don't pinch yourself and then you grab your favorite mascara which I like I'm using the hourglass black and then you just kind of do your eye I've got a little bit under here, so I just use a Q-tip and give it a quick wipe. See how it opens up the eye? And you just put, you can just layer it for a little more length. If you want, you could pop a set of false eyelashes on top. I don't, because this is my everyday look. And if I'm going to the gym, then I just do my skincare and I just do like a CC cream. I will do another video on that. If I was going out somewhere, just say for tea or uh, for lunch with my girlfriends, I like grabbing this hourglass little um, cream that you can put on top of the eye to make it sparkle. It's so pretty. It comes in a gift set of three. They're available now at Sephora. I'll link everything below. And I get a clean brush, like so. Dip it in there and just put a little bit on there for a little bit of glitter. It just opens up the eyes so pretty. And it's so simple to do. Done. And then also, if I was gonna set powder on my face, which I'm not, because I don't want it to be too cakey, I'll just grab one of my sprays to set it. This one's the Tasha spray. In I'll link all the names below, just kind of Close your eyes and just, all done. And then I put my earrings on and I do my hair. I take this little Velcro piece out and I'm as good to go. I'm, I'm all, all done. Just blend it in if you have to, because you want the nose to look defined.